Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I have another unexpected Louis Vuitton unboxing. Um, I know I haven't been the kindest to Louis Vuitton and I always say that I'm like veering away from them and exploring other brands, contemporary and luxury brands, but this is an item that I've had on my wish list for quite some time. I was on the site because I was looking to get my husband a new kind of like I'm sorry, I can hear the kids outside. Um, coin holder or card holder or something like that. Um, and I've had this on my wish list. And, you know, I regularly will kind of just go through and see if my wish list items are there. And this one showed up. And I kid you not when I say that this item is never in stock. Every single time that I've checked, this item is never in stock. Even right now, it says item unavailable. And then it says this item has very limited online uh, sorry, very limited availability, availability online and in select stores. And even when I got this item, when it said I could add it to cart, it said it would take up to seven weeks to be shipped to me. But it didn't. It actually only took a week and a half to ship to me. So after I put it in my basket, it took a week and then they shipped it out and took it like another like four or five days to ship to me. So I did order it online. I've always had really great luck with ordering items online as, a, as opposed to going in store. I haven't had any issues with quality and I need to knock on wood again because every time I say that I feel like I jinx myself. Like the last one of my Saint Laurent unboxings that I just recently did, there was an issue with it. Um, and I felt like I jinxed myself and now I feel like I'm gonna jinx myself again. So um, I ordered this one online and it did come with the bag and then um, my receipt is in here and there's a little note in there too. I like when you order online because then you kind of get all these little extra things, which is nice. And then here is the item itself so you can tell it's a small leather good. I adore the small leather goods from Louis Vuitton. I have always said that I think the SLGs are worth the investment. A lot of people might disagree with me and may think like, oh, they're hidden in your bag, who cares? But for me, because I use them daily, I want them to be able to last. So I am more an SLG girl from Louis Vuitton than a handbag girl, I would say. So let's unbox this. I'm excited, like I said, because this is really hard to find. And even now it's like sold out again. So um, little box, let's undo this. It's really like snug in there. I haven't seen this yet. I've never seen this in real life either. Ah! I feel like this isn't talked about enough, but this is the business, no, let me actually get the real name up. It is the envelope, a business card holder. But sometimes, like I used to remember seeing it as something like, cart envelope cart de vista or something like that it was a french um name of it but this is it right here and i think this is completely underrated because you can use this oh my god i see something already oh no <laughs> okay i'm gonna pretend i don't see that now but i'm gonna now i've lost my train of thought um Okay, I think I was just telling you the name of this and I was saying it was very underrated because you can use this as a mini wallet. And I always like to find items from Louis Vuitton that are affordable and kind of multi-use. So even though this is the business card holder, you can use this as a mini wallet and it retails for $360 Canadian. They also make this in like the emprunt leather, leather. Um, but I thought that this version is nice. So I'm gonna ignore the little things I just, but again, now that I'm opening it up, I can see more things. Oh my God, where was this ma made in France? So this is made in France and I always feel like made in France items have been so good. Like all my made, I feel like I only have one handbag that's not made in France, um, but all my other items have been made in France and they've been such good quality, but I see a couple things already. So I'm literally gonna lose my mind because I'm going bonkers. But let me quickly show you the inside. So it says right there, Louis Vuitton made in France. It has a flat pocket there. It has an opening here where you can put, I guess uh, you're supposed to be putting like your business cards in there, but you could definitely put credit cards. You could fold cash. And then it also has this little sort of slip pocket, which just houses, oh, see, this is like the French kind of name. I think you can kind of see there. 
um, and that's the little code, but it says like envelope cart this, like the abbreviation for it. Um, so there's another little small slip pocket here and then there's another pocket here. So I feel like you could put some cash in here if you wanted and some cards and then maybe you could put like your most used card in this one or in this slot here and then you know you could put like receipts or something small like in this little spot. So I feel like it is a good it's like a good mini wallet, as you can kind of see. Um, and for $360, you can't find a mini wallet on the Louis Vuitton website for that price. And I also like that the button is on the inside because then you're not worrying about ruining any of like the, like the metal part and having it rub off, which has happened on um, a couple of my pieces so far. The one that is an emprunt leather does have the button closure on the outside though so this is it there's no back pocket if it had like a little small back pocket that would make it perfect but now i see a couple of little things iphone i have the new iphone 14 and apparently this camera is supposed to be amazing so hopefully this can capture it but i'm gonna get into better light and show you okay maybe some of it you know when you get a new handbag and the glazing like sometimes they have that kind of like sticky residue and you rub it off so that might be some of it that might be what i'm seeing okay this part's kind of rubbing off so maybe it is just like the sticky residue. Let me get into better light and I can show you what I'm seeing. So I brought you in natural light so you can kind of see what I originally saw. So what I originally saw when I took it out is I saw, and excuse my fingers and my nails, I saw this like rough kind of part that's sticking up on the edge there. And that is just like not good. You can kind of see it like it's just not glazed well and the canvas is already almost like starting to peel it looks like and i tried to rub it just to see if it was like glazing like the sticky residue it's definitely not and you can see it if you turn it sideways like look how rough that is like you can you can feel it like i can feel like it's like my finger snagging on it so that's not good this camera's really good on this phone though they're right and then if you go down the side, like there's some more issues right there and right there with it. And then you continue on, this is really bad. This part here, I thought it might be just like the sticky residue on the corner. So I rubbed it a bit with a microfiber cloth. Um, and some residue came off, but not this. So this just looks like, if you get really close, like it's a defect for sure. And I compared it to my other pieces. None of my other pieces are like this. So you can see just the edge is just not done well. And then like here, you can see up close, like right there with the glazing and the canvas right there is just not done well. So this side on it is a lot better, I would say, but it is also rough and jagged at the top. And like I said, none of my other pieces are like that. Like they're all smooth. I went and checked literally all my pieces and they're all so smooth. So here's some more, you can just see, like it's so jaggedy and it's gonna snag and it's going to tear and it's gonna cause this glazing to just like begin to peel off what the heck man like i'm so dis. what is this see that's just residue i think what is this like what is going on with this piece i'm so confused okay so i just did some close-up shots on this with um, my phone and i feel like it really picked up on it and even at the top I think that that's just, yeah, so that rubs off. There's a part on the top that's just like the sticky residue, but definitely on the side here, like if I rub it, it's not coming off. It's just like a glazing issue. But the thing is like, if you feel this, if you were to feel it, like you can physically feel like jagged little like pieces that are sticking out. So it's almost like they didn't smooth it down before they glazed it or something, or they just cut the canvas really poorly and just thought the glazing would kind of cover it up. I feel like I really jinxed myself because I was going on and hyping about how buying online, I've never had issues and made in France, the quality's always so good. And then this comes along and it's online and made in France and obviously there's some defects to it. And I'm just, I'm sad because it's never available. Like this is such a hard piece to find. 
just rubbing off more of that glue that is there. Um, this is just never, it's never online, like even now. So, I mean, I can, I guess I'll stalk the site and I'll just see if it comes available again. But I'm just really sad because I waited so long to get this piece and it arrived and it's just defective. So anyway, I think if you are looking for a small wallet, this is definitely a really good piece to look into. I really want to know your thoughts now on your recent purchases from Louis Vuitton. Have you had any issues? Because my last two online purchases, which were the Kirigami and the passport holder, they've been really good. Um, but let me know if you've had any issues with any of your items from Louis Vuitton recently. I'd love to know. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the video. Now I gotta go return this and send it back. At least the return policy is easy and it's, it's quick too. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please leave me any questions or comments down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.